Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and today we are going to be visiting the end. Apparently, it's that way. I've upgraded my airship to tier three, so it is now a little, a, quite a bit faster. Um, I made a bunch of oh, <laughs> I made a bunch of pressed wax blocks for fuel. Those are going to last a very, very, very long time. In the last episode, you might remember, I made this amazing cobalt electrum shortbow, which is going to basically help us kill the ender dragon. And I also have many other reinforcements. I have some elixirs of regen in case we need it. That is from Rustic, from our little uh, Rustic brewing thingamajigger down there, elixir brewer. Um, I've got some, well, of course, as a vendor, I actually brought some extra ender pearls and blaze powder in case we need to make more, which we probably will. I made a hang glider from open gliders. Um, basically, the reason I have that is for emergency purposes. If we get thrown up in the air, or if our ship breaks for whatever reason, or something like that, or if I accidentally hit shift, <laughs> we can float down with our hang glider. So that'll pop quite possibly save our life. Um, what else do I got? I have a med quit kit from Rough Tweaks that uh, basically restores hearts for us when we right click on it. In fact, probably should have probably should have taken a regen potion before I left, but I have 20 hearts and that's coming from the nutrition mod because I am in the right range of all of my nutritions. I have a good balanced diet. <laughs> and what else we got? Um, this is going to be our primary weapon. Um, actually, the uh, manulin rapier we're going to be using for the close range hitting of the ender dragon. Um, we're not going to be using the shuriken uh, just because it doesn't have enough durability and it doesn't have a very long range. Um, I'm actually going to throw another pearl here. Let's just go down on this tree. Don't I don't know what happens if I throw a pearl while I'm in the ship. So let's just do it right here. Hey! <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's still that way. Uh, did it, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I have a full set of... Crap. <laughs> I just threw this stupid ender thing again while I was trying to mount the ship. Alright, let's get these out of my hand. Okay, and then move along. I have a full set of pneumatic armor um, with lots and lots of upgrades. I'm using the pneumatic chest plate right now because that's going to help keep everything else charged. Um, with the pneumatic armor, we have a speed boost. We have lots of different things that are going to help us. Um, we have the Iron Man helmet that's, that will help us find entities and other things. I don't know that we'll really be needing that. But two things we will be using a lot probably is the speed boost we get from the leggings and jump boost. And we're also getting um, step assist from the pneumatic boots and most importantly we're getting fall protection so we basically have complete fall protection so maybe we don't really need the hang glider but um, the fall protection does consume air Look at this I haven't even been out here this is all new for me it looks like a volcano oh yeah that's definitely a volcano <laughs> that's awesome look at that it's beautiful uh, Alright, I'm going to stop at these trees. It's a little mangrove in the middle of the ocean. A little mangrove grove. Grove? Mangrove grove? Can you, can you say that? We'll go right in the middle so that the ender pearl lands, <laughs> doesn't land in the water. Uh, and now I'm just realizing that my <laughs> portable temperature regulator is out of power. That is not good. Darn it! Uh, I don't want to go back to the base. The end isn't terribly cold. It's like slightly cold, so maybe we'll be okay. Oh, oh, it's that way now. Okay. Oh, it broke. All right. It's that way. How? What? All right. We must be really close. I'm going to find it, and then and then I'm, I guess I'm going to head back to the base and charge it. I hope I don't end up having to dig into the volcano. That would That would be rough. And I can't sleep on leaves. Can I sleep in mud? Let's see. Sleep in the squishy mud, yep. <laughs> well, it looks like we're somewhere in the middle of this ocean, <laughs> right there. So I'm just gonna dig down here, right next to this lava, because that sounds like a safe thing to do. So this is what I've resorted to doing. 
Breaking that, going a little ways. Ugh. Okay. And there it is. Hooray! No. Nice! Alright, this I'm just gonna get rid of. Because I don't like those guys at all. And we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cool. So we have enough, although I still have to go back to the base, I think. I don't know, maybe I don't. I want to go back to the base and charge this thing. Other than that, I'm totally ready to go. Hooray! Whew, okay, I think I'm ready. Um, I've got my weapons. I actually have some repairing things so that I can repair my bolts. In fact, I'm going to put those in my hot bar so I can see. I don't know if I'll need to. I don't know if 138 shots will probably be enough. The bow has 869 yet, so I think we're good. Uh, this I might want to have in my hot bar, and definitely not the sleeping bag. I'm not going to need that. The regen. Um, that's about all I'm going to need. Oh, my ship. Where's my ship? Oh, there it is. Okay, my ship's already in my hot bar. We don't really need the well actually we are gonna need that. We're not gonna need that. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Uh Whew, okay. <laughs> the end? Hooray! All right, looks like most of the Endermen are over there. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> I haven't even... <laughs> All right, we better dig our, dig our way out of here. So I'm gonna use the airship to get up on top of the uh, pillars. Um, that's basically what I'm gonna use to break, well, to make it easier to break the thingamajiggers, the uh, crystals. Uh, but I'm going to be fighting the dragon from the ground. Wherever, wherever the dragon is. Okay, so I'm a little, I'm always a little afraid to be in this ship in the end because, for one, I can't look behind me. And for two, I'm afraid the dragon's going to break it. Like if he hits me really hard, or she, or whatever. Unfortunately, whoa! See what I mean? Like, you can't see behind you, and I can't... Oh, and the other thing is you can't shoot. Like, I can't... It, the ship blocks my arrows, so what I have to do... And this is scary. So I have to... I have to dismount. Oh, wow. So I'm standing above the ship. And then I can remount the ship. <laughs> it's really quite scary, to be honest. Because if I get thrown from this, like, if I get hit, I'll fall. Because I'm just standing up on a floating platform, <laughs> basically. Uh, no, no, get away, get away. See, I already hate this. I hate the visibility. But man, it makes it, it makes getting the crystal so much easier. Although I could just stand up on top of one of the pillars. But the problem with that is then the dragon shoots, shoots stuff at me. And, I, and there's nowhere to go <laughs> when you're on top of the pillar. <laughs> Which, you know, I guess when you're playing vanilla, it's kind of what you have to do, at least for the caged ones. Okay, I hear her. I can't see her. Where is she? There is she. Okay, she's way over there. <gasps> oh, see? Now that is a problem. Yeah, there's a kind of dead enderman. Now I gotta wait for my ship to come down. Crap, 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 crap. Alright, hurry up, ship. <laughs> hurry up. And actually, in retrospect, the glider is kind of unnecessary. Um. No. Crap, 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 crap. Okay. Because I have complete fall protection um, from the uh, pneumatic boots. But it does, it does take air, but I think I have more than enough air. 
I don't like being on the outer edge like this because if I don't want her to throw me into the void. I'm going to go in a little bit. I need to stop looking down there because, like, I could be looking at Enderman and I won't even know it till I get down there and then all of a sudden a million of them will come after me all at once. Okay. <laughs> the nice thing about being up here is that she can't get me with that nasty uh, dragon's breath. Which, by the way, I forgot. I forgot to bring bottles. Which I do every freaking time. Every freaking time I go to the end, I forget to bring bottles. Alright, you get away from me. Um. <laughs> so all we have left now are the caged ones. Ah. When I do have a a module in the airship that makes my makes me be able to go up higher and also makes my vertical ascension and oh the sea I can't see behind me it makes me go up and down a little faster <sighs> all right there we go oh man I'm gonna take a regen One more. This is... <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking, this is. I'm gonna pick that one out, too. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I hate when that happens. All right, they're all done. Yay! Okay, now, now we just go after the dragon. Just <laughs> that's all. <laughs> now I'm gonna be on the ground where he can shoot at me. Oh, see, and now the Enderman that I, that I looked at without noticing. Crap. Okay. Oh, that is. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. The dragon took care of it for me. <laughs> Although I think I just looked at another one. Oh, man. Nope. Nope. Oh, my God. Why are they all coming after me? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Are they all coming after me? Was it just the one? Where's that damn dragon? <laughs> Keep my eyes in the sky, get some regen again. Oh, right here, okay. Can't you see? Thank you for the of things. Okay, it's not connecting everything. Let's go ahead. There we go. Now we're going to That Enderman better not be yelling at me. <laughs> I'm really getting tired of you guys. Oh no, he's yelling at the dragon. <laughs> the last time I did this, I was using the Draconic bow. Sit. Come on, one more hit. Yay! <laughs> oh, nice. Three the end. Whew, that was stressful. Pro. Some XP. Dragon egg. 
<laughs> Not much use for XP these days, but all right. So I have two things. Hooray! I have two things I want to do. I better look up so I don't look at any Endermen. Now that we're in the end, um, I want to go to the end cities, of course. I want to find... Well, there's two things that I want to make. Um, one of them is the aerial interface from Pneumatocraft. Um, normally, this isn't quite this expensive, but in this particular pack, um, because it's a very OP item, um, it does require a dragon head and another star. Uh, well, the dragon head, obviously, is what we're here for. Um, the other thing that I would like to make is jet boots. Again, this is another item that's normally pretty cheap, but in this pack it's a little more expensive. It's very OP. Um, it basically gives us jet boots, which give us flight. It's an interesting kind of flight that's pretty fun to play with. And for that, we're going to need end rods. So um, we're going to have to get to an end city if we want the aerial thing, and we'll have to at least get to an island um, if we want to do the jet boots. So let's. I guess we'll head over here. Um, where's my airship? All right. Um, I'm actually going to make a waypoint here so that we can find our way back. I'm going to make it green because I always make the way home green. And let's go explore the end. Hooray. And at some point, I'm going to kill a bunch of Endermen too. Because we have Quark in this pack, we can't just cheese the Endermen because um, they can remove blocks from above us. <laughs> So, oh, there we go. I guess we'll teleport. We could just fly from here directly with the airship, but we'll just see where this takes us, because why not? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> there. Can't miss now, right? Uh, what happened there? Oh, there we go. Yay! Remote getaway. That's where we are. That's okay. Cool. <laughs> right, actually, you know what? I'm going to grab some end stone. We'll probably want that at home too. Although that'll be easy to get. Boy, trying to find an end city in vanilla. That's got to be hard. <laughs> I've never actually done it before in vanilla. But I am going to very soon. Hey, give me that. Okay, that's all I want here, so now I'm going to fly away. I guess we will go... Let's just go straight north, because why not? Until we find an end city. Okay, I did not go very far. <laughs> but looky what I found already. Nice. take a regen and maybe I'll just max out my health right now shulkers don't hurt that bad not as bad as the ender dragon <laughs> this one actually these two I'm gonna get from my ship because if I get levitation while I'm in my ship I don't really levitate oh okay oh crap crap <clears throat> wait why was I hitting him with my pickaxe Sulker down. Okay, do I have. Okay, I made it this far without levitation. <laughs> That's good. Wait, can I break my ship from here? I can. Alright, let's see if, if I can just quickly rush this guy. Oh, crap, where'd he go? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sky's the limit! See, diamond leggings with protection four and unbreaking three. A proven gra oh, a proven grafter. Okay, that's nice. Iron sword with not okay. All right, I'll take it, man. You know, diamonds are not easy to are not easy to get in this pack. <laughs> Let's hope this guy falls toward me. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Darn it! 
Well, I guess we get to play with our hang glider. Whee! Oh, and I just looked at the Enderman, of course. Oh, crap, and then I let go of the hang glider. Oh, there it is. There's a bit. Oh, I, that one wasn't even tempting. Oh, inventory's full. Why am I carrying a stone? You know what? I'm going to throw away that stone hammer. And I'm going to make a shulker box at some point. <laughs> as soon as I get enough shulker shells. How many? I just need two, right? Two and a... Yeah. So I'm going to make a shulker box. Because, uh, of course, I forgot to bring a backpack or anything to carry stuff with. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. All right. There's our other shulker shell. <laughs> now I'm just going to go up and get... Um, Go up and get a chest. There should be a... Oh, that one didn't drop one. Yay, parkour. My favorite. <laughs> Especially when you have step assist. Uh, I just want... This guy. You too, sure, why not? Find a chest somewhere. I know there was one in the ship. Oh, and I'm gonna take as many of these as I can. Cause I'm gonna need a lot of them. Um, we're gonna want a lot of these jet boot upgrades. Like you need like ten of them to get the full effect, like the full speed and everything. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do ten, cause <laughs> they're very expensive. But eventually. Think I can do this? <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh! Oh boy, I am... Okay, this works. <laughs> okay, I, I want it. I want that. I'll take that too. There we go. Oh. Okay, I want these. I want one of these chests. Just so. Oh, just the chest. Uh, crap. All right, I'm gonna get the crafting table ready. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Yay! My first shelter box. All right, so we can throw a bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> sure, diamonds. Cover me with diamonds, oh my gosh. I guess I have not made diamond armor. And that would make sense, because why would I? Well, it was a pretty small end city. That's the whole thing right there. I totally cleaned it out. <laughs> Can't say I got a whole lot, but I got all this stuff. You can see what's in my shulker box. Um, I can't remember what mod adds that, but it also allows you to do that. Oh, wait. Allows you to right-click to add stuff to it. So if I want to put my end rods in there, I can right-click. Wait, what? Oh, I'm supposed to be able to right-click to add, but whatever. You can see the contents of the shulker box, which is really nice. Um, got a couple of potions of healing. Instant health. Could use that. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, and I still have a couple of regens left. Wow! So this, oh, and slime islands. That's right. Slime islands are here in the in the end as well. Although I don't need any right now because I found some in the in the Nether. So I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna head back to the remote portal and then head back home because I've got everything I want. I ended up with 16 end rods. Or actually, 48 end rods because I've got 32 in the Shulker box. I don't know why I can't. Whoa. Oh, it did add it. It just. Oh, there was a desync. Okay, so I got 32 end rods and one elytra. I'd kind of like to get a couple of them, but uh, I don't really have any good use for them, so I'm not going to go out of my way for it, but maybe we'll come back to the end at some point and do that. I have a lot of fuel in my airship, so <laughs> we could go pretty far. But you can see on the map, um, this is where we 
where we teleported to from the main island. And then it was just a little ways north that I found this end city. So you know what? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fly back this way just to cover a little bit more ground and maybe I'll see another end city on the way. Oh, man. It can be very disorienting flying through the void. Like, am I moving? <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Oh, my gosh. I mean, of course, there's there's no real threat here, but it's just eerie and kind of scary. Like, maybe... <laughs> yeah, even... Even like this. Oh, oh, I see a Tinker's Island. Here we are. Man, look at all that biotite. I wish it was more useful. There's so much of it. <laughs> we have officially polluted the end. Oh my gosh. It's a really good way to get XP, that's for sure. This stuff <laughs> drops a lot of XP. It also makes a potion. Potion of fortitude. I don't know what that is. So let's find out. But first, <laughs> let's head back home. Uh, yay, we're home. It's good to know my uh, spawn is still set here because it's been a long time since I've slept in a bed. So the potion of fortitude that you get from the biotite gives you resistance. In the next episode, we're going to be revisiting Pneumatocraft uh, and we're going to make some jet boots and we're going to get some flight. And we're also going to play with the aerial interface from Pneumatocraft as well, which is going to allow us to remotely power our stuff and, and remotely play around with items and things like that. So that should be fun with our own personal inventory. So that that's basically what that's for. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you do have any questions or comments or whatever, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and to join me next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.